Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Dragon Age Inquisition at the Tower of Bone. That's right, we have claimed Boner Tower for our own. Or oh, we're about to. I, there's actually a landmark up here I need to get. At least I think it's up here, I'm not sure. Basically, I'm going to run around until I find stuff. Oh, oh, there's an Astrarium up there. Well, let's take a look through a dead man's skull, shall we? I mean, I'm assuming these are actual people skulls, you know, which just makes them creepy and weird. But you've kind of got to look through them. I mean, that's just... I've heard of walking in another man's shoes, but not looking through another man's eyes, you know? Wow, we really took over this place. Look, there's so many Inquisition dudes around here. I don't understand it. Normally we just put a couple of tents up and that's fine, but whoever's in charge around this area has just gone freaking nuts with it. Making their own blimmin... Dunno, something out of it. They're making a thing. They're making a thing and I didn't give them permission for it. Where's these shards? Ooh, where was that? Oh, there. Okay. Come on. Shard. Shard me. It's always the last couple of them that you struggle to find. Obviously enough. Okay, maybe over this way. Turn, turn faster, you son of a bitch. Aha! There we go. If I was the last shard, where would I be? That is actually making me a bit dizzy to kind of turn in the camera that quickly. Oh, is that it? No, I've already found that one. Damn it. Come on, where are you? No, seriously, where is it? I can't I can't find it. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. Why why do you do this to me, game? Why can't I find it? One shard left. Where would it be? If I was the last shard, I would be there. Maybe. Okay, if this takes me much longer, I'm going to actually have to pause the recording to get this done. Because this is just boring shit that you guys don't want to watch. What the... Is it, is it above me or something? Is it behind me? Maybe it's behind me. That'd be hilarious if it was actually, like, directly behind me. You spend all this time looking in front of you, and you never think to check behind you. It's like there's some kind of moral lesson there, but I don't know what the hell that would be. Oh, God. I mean, we've struggled to find some shards before, but this is ridiculous. If anyone is still watching at this point, I recommend skipping ahead until I'm just not doing this anymore. I mean, I'm the one doing it, and I'm bored. I feel like it's got to be over there, because there, well, there isn't one over that direction already. But I just can't... just can't see it. Okay, right, we'll be back in a moment once I've actually found it. Okay, I've given up. I've, I've looked through that damn thing so much, I've actually I started feeling nauseous. I also wanted to have a jump down here, which I can. Cool, okay, I can get behind it. Uh, but I can't go in there, which makes me think I'm not meant to have done that. Oh well, that describes a lot of my life. But yeah, um, I was I was looking through that thing for so long. The, the fish I kind of affected it has really started to make me feel a bit nauseous. It was quite strange. And I still couldn't find the goddamn... I couldn't find the last one. Don't know where it is. So I'm going to do what all good adventurers should do when they're trying to save the world. And give up, basically. Um, we'll worry about that another day. We found five. That's good. Um, can you go up the ladder, please? There we go. Thank you. Five we'll have to do. Let's not be greedy. We'll leave one for later. We don't want to spoil ourselves now, surely. What I do want is this landmark. Excellent. The Tower of Bone. The Tower of Bone is so named for the hundreds of human bones discovered in a hidden chamber beneath the flagstones. The bones were cremated in accordance with Chantry law, and the chamber cleansed and sealed. 
Local tales of the tower and its grisly contents abound. Some believe Tevinters built the structure, reinforcing its foundations with blood magic. In other tales, elves built the tower. My favourite is particularly imaginative. In this story, a blood mage summoned a greater pride demon, who then possessed the entire town. When the mage died, his sons were unable to control the demon, so they commissioned eight monstrous iron chains intended to hold it. The touch of the cold iron chain is the only thing holding the stone abomination in place. Should they break, the tower will pull itself off its foundations and walk, destroying everything in its path. That is a pretty cool story. Um, I'm still not convinced it's good enough to, you know, offset the fact that this is the Tower of Bone, Boner Tower. But I've made that joke about 15 times now, so I'm going to stop. Wow, we've really fortified this place. We've got like a whole military encampment going on here. Which is not a great idea, I have to be honest, because we're kind of in the middle of a giant red lyrian patch. And, you know, prolonged exposure to that makes you go insane. So, should we really be massing our forces around it? I, I would say the answer is no. Quite strongly, no. But maybe, what do I know? Maybe they know better than me. Okay, so we've got a bunch of... Okay, those are all the shards I found. Fine. Uh, what's that? Prime of Red Lyrium. That's really... Okay, that is quite far away. There's another landmark. Shards, that's fine. I still want to try and get over there. Ooh, capturing Suladin Keep. Ah, that's the ancient elven fortress they told us about. Okay. So we need to head over that way. So I guess we want to go across the bridge. I kind of want to explore down that way. I can see a bunch of elf roots, so maybe I should go grab that. And there's like a ladder back up, so if it doesn't lead anywhere, it's not too much of a problem. I want to grab all this Arbor Blessing as well. Okay, elf root. Somehow thriving in the cold conditions. Oh, wow, that is a lot of elf root. I still don't know what's making that roaring sound, but I'm going to guess. And my guess is a giant goddamn dragon, but hey. What do I know? Okay, that's all the elf fruit. Let's grab that arbor blessing up there. Thank you. And thank you. Right. Uh, which way do I actually want to go? Do we want to go to Suladin Keep? Which, I mean, sounds like a decent place to go to. Or do we want to try and head up this way and just finish off that corner of the map? With the last rift that we can see for now and some primeval red lyrium. I guess it makes sense to do that before heading down this way. Because we've got to go that way and then we've got to go all the way down there. So there's obviously more, way more map down this way than there is up this way. So tell you what, let's set that active. And let's go grab the rift. Did I get that? Yeah, I did. Right. Tally her chaps, on we go. Uh, in. No, not that direction. That direction? Wait, I'm confused. Yes, okay. What's the quickest way to go in that direction? No, no, it doesn't. Bloody requisition officer. Can I hire someone who is less annoying about that kind of thing? I just, I, they're very, my requisition officers are really insistent about that kind of stuff. Oh, there's a lot of landmark over here? Oh, cool, let's take that. What we got this time? Judicale's Crossing. The Grand Bridge, named Judicale's Crossing, was constructed in 856 Blessed to celebrate the coronation of Emperor Judicale the I, as a testament to the skill of Orlais' great engineers. The bridge replaced an ancient fallen highway leading to the Pools of the Sun. Ooh, can we go to the Pools of the Sun? That sounds nice. At the bridge's ceremonial dedication, the Emperor's sister, Grand Duchess Leontine, led a dozen nobles and their entourages in a stroll across the bridge to the hot springs, where they took the waters. Judicale's crossing structural supports bear architectural and decorative elements that mimic those of the ancient Tevinter Highway it replaced. One can see their like several miles away in the archways raising above the village of Sarnria. The Andastrian standards that decorate the walkway, however, are entirely Orlesian in style. But that's not surprising. Hey, I've discovered Judicale's Crossing. 
Although, I'm guessing... Yeah, I can't actually get to the pools of the sun, because fuck me. Oh, there's an operation. Oh, maybe we can repair that bridge. Ooh. Ooh, okay. We might be able to rebuild this. We can rebuild it. Better, stronger. We might be able to rebuild this. You already said that. Probably not faster. I mean, you can't really make a bridge faster. But we can probably build it better and stronger. And then maybe I can get to the pools of the sun and take the waters myself. I, I don't actually know what that means. Take the waters. Does that mean you just, like... I just want to bathe in the waters. It sounds warm. And this is very icy. So maybe... Maybe some kind of hot springs. That's what I'm imagining. I could go for some hot springs right about now. So the rift should be over that way. Probably near that broken tower. Okay, there's actually a lot of broken towers around here. Oh, crap. Hey, guys. I, I, yep, I was paying attention. I totally saw you before I ran into you. What we got? Templar Guard, Templar Guard, Dread Templar, and a Bowman. Okay. It's a small group. My camera's stuck. It's a small group, but we should be able to take them pretty easily. Let's move up Varric so he's got a decent shot. And then get you all stealthy and like. And get you poisony and stuff. I'm doing that in the wrong order, but hey. Okay. Right. Varric, would you mind... Oh, you can't actually see them. Damn. Uh, well, you are all stealth, so I should be able to move you... Yeah, that'll do. Right, if you could get me... Let's go for... Actually, they're really clustered. Yeah, actually, you know what? Screw it. Go for the explosive shot while they're all so clustered. And... Give me a lightning strike on that guy. Black wall... Charge in on that guy. And I'll try and do what I do best. Hey! Paralyzed and poisoned. Fuck you. Okay, I'm proccing all the chain lightning today. And Blackwall's got himself stuck on a door. You know, Blackwall, Cassandra wouldn't normally have this problem. I just, I feel I should point out, Cassandra's normally a bit more reliable about this kind of stuff. Usually. Yep, I see you trying to get to my mages. Fuck you. Whoa, okay. Blackwall, can you stop, stop stopping fighting, would you mind? Could you, could you actually keep fighting? How about you stop fighting when all the enemies are dead, not before? I would, I would appreciate that. I did save your life, and it doesn't seem like that big a request. I'll be honest, mate. <sighs> I swear, you just can't get good help. This is why I trust my girlfriend, you know? Hmm. Okay, this doesn't actually look like the way I need to go, but I kind of want to go up this way. For, you know, various reasons. We have discovered Dracon's Tower. Okay. Uh, there's one of the... Oh, there's a... Uh, thingy thing. Which I... Yeah, I can't remember the name of. I'm sorry. Let's have a look at you. Are you going to be a complicated one? Or... No, you're not what I thought you were. You're the other thingy thing. That strengthens the veil. And... Uh, Solus likes when we do those. Although he'd like it more if we were here in person. And... He's not here in person, so screw him. Yeah, I don't really care about that. What's in the tower, though? What's in the tower? What's in the tower? I swear that roaring sound is getting louder. Ooh, wow, there's the rift. Okay, cool, we're kind of above the rift. Can I get into this tower? No, but there's a loot box. Okay, that's a lucky find. Take that. Not bad. My crafted stuff is better, but still, that could be good for someone. Does this thing not have a door? Oh. Oh, hello, Pride Demon. Okay, that's going to be a fun rift. Seriously, there must be a door to this tower. Who builds a tower without a door? That's insane. Oh, maybe... Oh, that might have been the door. Oh, yeah, that was the door. Well, I guess we don't get to go up that thing. 
It did look like there might be some stairs or something over here. I don't want to fall off the side of the mountain. Yeah, okay, there's... So we can approach from this side. What's the advantage to approaching from that side? Oh, that's not the rift area. That's a separate area. Ooh. That's like a hidden area. Oh, hell yeah. Come on, down we go. I have no idea if we're meant to go here, but we're going to go here. Uh, can I get down without injuring myself, though? Maybe if I come down over here. Oh, wow, there's a whole bunch of hidden stuff down here. Cool. I mean, I say hidden, I don't know. Maybe hidden? Maybe, maybe just useless stuff that I don't actually care about. But it seemed hidden, which was nice. Okay, that's the armor blessing up above. Damn it, I got really excited about this, and what have I found? A ladder. Is there anything up the top? Damn it! I thought I'd found, like, a hidden campsite with cool stuff, and all I found is a bunch of dead people. I make dead people everywhere I go. That is, that is just disappointing. And now I'm kind of really close to that rift, aren't I? Shit. Ah, crap. Okay. Um, is there a way to approach this from a better angle? Because if I run around that corner, I I get a pride demon to the face. Um, and I, I don't particularly enjoy that. Can we go, can we go around here, maybe? I, I worry that at any moment I'm going to fall off the edge of the world or something. We are quite high up. Although that is a lovely view, don't get me wrong. Aha! Looks like I can sweep around from behind. I am a rogue after all. Rogues do it from behind. Yeah, we can approach from up there. That's a better angle. And... Hey, I found some more stuff. Lady Vivienne. Whatever are you talking about, darling? In our last fight, I saw you take a blow. If I'd been there quicker... Oh, aren't you precious? I appear to have offended. No, dear. You couldn't possibly offend me. I'm not sure if they're flirting or what, but I don't like it. Just just straight up don't like it. I'm a little willpower. Okay, that's that's a bit disappointing. But we have found a note. What's on the note? A journal found near a dead elf. Most of the journal's pages are ripped out, possibly used as kindling. A few of the final pages remain intact. Myth... Mifel, Mifel en este. First Velen lost, now this weather. Rill can't stop shaking. No one lays eyes on the candle of Sullivan for hundreds of years, and now will die for a story, after all. And that got us a new operation, or rumour of a new operation. Is that marked on my map somewhere? Ooh, Rocky Rescue. Oh, okay, there's people to go rescue. Fine. Okay, we have a rumour of a new operation somewhere. Right, now we should be able to approach the rift from this side and engage whoever's up there. Let's check it out. We know there's a pride demon. What have we got? Pride demon, greater terror, greater terror. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, it's not the best angle of attack because we won't be able to attack from long range, but we can get the ranged guys up here, push Blackwall into the middle, and I'll do my usual thing. But I think I'll do that next episode. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe. And hopefully I'm going to see you all later for the next one. Bye.